Say it again. Luna. Hi. Hi. Yes. So what, what's your work here? It's a mythical monster. It's a head of a bird, body of a beast, and tail of a serpent. I'm just putting on the base at the moment. It's got lots and lots of layers to go to get it to come up. Let's get a base coat on everything first. Hi, what was your name? I'm Hayley. Hi. Hi Hayley. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm looking in the right place. <laughs> yeah, you are. So, what, what are we going to, what are you doing here? Um, I've pulled my thing Harlequin Luana and um, I'm going to try and do like a gothic take on a Harlequin clown. So, kind of make her all sort of grotty and nasty but kind of brightly coloured as well. So, we'll see how it works. <laughs> gentleman was singing and the models and uh, performers were on stage. Imagine if someone just walked in off the street not knowing what was going on tonight and peeked their head through that door up in the corner. How uh, truly bizarre this experience must seem. But of course uh, my, my good friend Gino and myself have been attending these makeup conventions for a number of years now and it's a, it's a real tribute to the likes of Nicole and other people around the, this, the, this country that continue to 
take a risk and put on these events, not only for the people in the audience like ourselves, but most importantly for the makeup artists of New Zealand. Because without a, a entry and convention like this, there wouldn't be any chance for the makeup artists of this country that wield this mighty talent to be able to come together, novices and professionals, and enjoy talking about their craft, experiencing each other's work, and getting to ply their beautiful art on these moving canvases. So to you, Nicole, thank you so much. To all these sponsors. And of course, to all of the competitors that joined in tonight, and the wonderful actors, models and performers that put on such an incredible show for us all. Cheers to you all, what an amazing experience, and I'm sure we're all thrilled with the evening's, uh, the, the evening's entertainment. Obviously, most people are hopeful that it may lead into a career, and uh, for ourselves, Gareth and I, and, uh, and Gino, our senior makeup supervisor, have been able to watch the skills and abilities of these people uh, working their craft within these competitions and actually assess and judge and uh, ultimately hire them for ongoing jobs here within Weta Workshop. And uh, of course everyone is, um, is looking for that uh, opportune break where you can actually turn your hobby uh, into a career and see it uh, flourish at a professional level. Friend, you don't have any friends. Nobody likes you. Not listening. Not listening. You're a liar and a thief. No. Murderer. Go <laughs> away. should say, my precious, my love. Is Smeagol losing his nerve? No! Don't! Never! Smeagol hates nasty horses. Smeagol wants to see them. Dead. Did, uh, did civilization remove the tattoos from, uh, from our culture? I don't think so. I think... Uh, uh, tattoo art is still running in running in business. It's quite big in New Zealand too, I suppose. Uh, so I don't think that uh, uh, people doing special effects um, and and so on will will make sure that uh, body painting and uh, body art will disappear. They still need us. They still need us. Um, I'm sure of that. That's still a still big business. Body painting and face painting. What about them? They're fresh. What about their legs? If I can define one uh, event that's really astonishing towards body art, face painting and so on, then surely is the World Body Paint um, Contest, uh, which takes place every year in, uh, in, uh, uh, in July. Uh, 25,000 people, believe me, 25,000 people uh, join there only to see the finals, and I'm not speaking about the ten thousands of people in the two first days, uh, but 25,000 people that love body art, body painting, gather there for a big body paint rock concert, and that's something unique. However, I guess there is some competition on the way because uh, Mam is going to put a rock show too, but over here in New Zealand. Uh, 